Hey guys, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise. In today's video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about the new wire bugs in the game. So wire bugs can be seen by those two icons at the bottom of your screen in the middle, those two little blue icons. Those are wire bugs. Wire bugs are basically these things that you can throw and then they have a wire attached to them and you can pull yourself towards where you throw them. You also have the capability of doing several attacks with each of the weapons with the two wire bugs. So in order to perform attacks with your wire bugs, you do need to have your weapon out. So you can do this by hitting X once so that you can bring your weapon out, find an enemy that you want to attack, hold the left trigger in and press X to do one wire bug attack. This will consume one wire bug and let you do an attack with that wire bug. If you have two wire bugs in your gauge, you can actually hold the left trigger and press A and this will target your second wire bug attack and do that. This is different for all the weapons as well, so some of them might change how they work, some of them will be counter, some of them will be attacks, some of them will work in completely different ways. Alright, so now that we've talked about combat, let's talk about the movement of the wire bugs. This is something that is much more difficult to monster and something that will actually change how you play drastically in the game. Now the wire bugs will actually engage differently if you don't have your weapons activated. If you have your weapons put away by pressing R or by pressing Y, you can put your weapon back in its sheath and you can use the wire bugs in this state. By holding the left trigger, you'll see there is now a ZR on my screens where I can actually point and aim where I want to fly towards, or you can press the two buttons X or A to do different types of wire bugs. So if we press X, it will actually automatically just shoot us upwards like that. And if we press A, it will just take us directly to the side like that. Both of those consume one wire bug. But what's interesting about this, you can actually chain multiple of these at the same time. So if I hold the left trigger and I press X and then I press X again, I can fly around really quickly and do two wire bug pulls in the air. You can obviously do the same by holding ZL and pressing A twice like that. Now there is a strategy to go further with this by holding ZL and pressing X and then pressing B and then pressing X again and then pressing B by doing a dodge roll in the sky actually lets you gain extra distance. As you see, if you press B at any point of this, you can actually gain a huge amount of distance in a short time. You can even do this while you're on the ground. You just have to press it quite quick. So this is A and then B right as I'm flinging off there. So A and then B. And you can obviously do this with your X and then your B as well to do your roll in midair. Now you're also able to stop in midair too. So if I hold ZL and I press X, I can immediately press A and then hang in the air. As long as I have a wire bug available, it won't actually let me recharge wire bugs, but I can just hang here for pretty much as, as, as that long. And from here, your wire bugs will not regenerate. So if I wanna fly from any direction here, I can just point that direction and then press B and go like that. To show you that again, I'm gonna quickly do this here and then go like that and then to the side. See, you can do that. Obviously that is done by pressing your B, which is your dodge roll. So we go up in the air, we press A, and then we go B to the side. Now, while your two wire bugs will regenerate the entire time that you use them, as you've been seeing throughout this video, you can actually collect a temporary third wire bug by finding these in the world, in the maps around at various areas, you can collect them. It will give you three, a total of three wire bugs to use, and you can basically do whatever you want. It allows you to use multiple uses of a wire bug at the same time to get new distances that you couldn't reach before. All right, so I'm at the bottom of a giant cave here with a giant wall behind me that I'm gonna climb all the way to the top there using my amount of stamina and just the two wire bugs that I'm given as per default. So we're gonna climb up this wall using these resources. So first I'm gonna jump up here. I'm gonna hold R. You do have to wire bug into the wall first. You'll see your stamina will drain. Hold L, use your wire bug back into the wall again. Hold the R button to sprint. And then you basically just repeat this process over and over and you'll notice that you can actually just keep doing it as your wire bugs regenerate just in time as you kind of climb this entire wall and you can climb everything in the game just using this this method there is no wall that's too high as long as you have a decent amount of stamina and your two wire bugs you you're good to go you can climb anything as you explore different maps in the game, you will find these special bushes over here that you're able to place great wire bugs, much like this one over here. You can also get your great wire bugs from the guy in Kimura Village that is just on your way to the Buddy Plaza. You should see him a few times. He gives you a bunch of these things during your playthrough of the game. So once you've placed these over here and you activate it, it actually lets you fly great distances across the map and sometimes can interlink with another one to let you go even further. So those are really helpful to go major distances across the map or across great heights. So look out for them if you are trying to take massive shortcuts around the maps. There's also a mechanic in Monster Hunter Rise that will actually let you use your wire bugs to basically take a monster and enable Wyvern riding so that you can ride the monster. And this is done by dealing a bunch of damage to it and also using your wire bugs attacks. 
So if I go and I hit this Kalulu here and hit him with a wire bug attack, it should actually let me go take him into a rideable state, just like that there, and you can just put your weapon away, or you can just attack him. If you attack him with any type of hit, it will activate and you will go immediately into riding him. And while riding him, you can do several things, like actually move him around. You'll see your timer where it is with that blue thing as that thing does a full circle your timer will run out you can actually use some monsters to actually climb in the game so that's that's pretty neat as well you can also do a strong attack you can do a light attack you can do a b to emergency evade i recommend when you're doing attacks press your attack and then press your evade and then press your attack again to make it so that you can attack more frequently this is great for attacking other monsters because it will usually make the other monster drop three of their monster pots if you attack them successfully for multiple times if there's no other monster that you want to attack and you'd rather do damage to the monster you're riding you can do launch the monster by pressing y make sure there's a lot of walls around you and as soon as you launch the monster into a wall press b so y and then b to land back on the monster and then y and then b again if you do have an extra wire bug the third wire bug you're able to actually do that four times instead of your normal three with harder monsters you will have to be very very quick with launching your monster because sometimes they won't actually um let you do it because the time will run out and they'll make you just drop off of the monster so you won't actually be able to launch the monster more than two times sometimes. So make sure once you've launched the monster the first time you quickly launch it another two or three times depending on how many wire bugs you have. There's also a feature in the game called Wire Fall. Now this happens right as you get hit by a monster. If you're knocked over in the air and something just knocks you over, you can press ZL and B to actually get back into the fight. So I'm going to get knocked over here and I'll show you how this works, just like that. So you get knocked over, instead of actually just lying on the ground, you can actually use one of your wire bugs to fly to the side or even towards the monster and be able to hit him again, if you can time it right. With this little monster here, it is a little bit difficult. For most high-end monsters, you're going to be needing to save your wire bugs a lot for things like this to kind of get out of the way. So if you get knocked out of the way and Magnamello is coming back for another attack, you can immediately get up on your feet and jump out of the way again. And if you time it right, you can actually do an attack at the same time, just like that. Just be aware that it does take your wire bug charges to do this, so make sure you have some available, or if you are trying to save them for your wire bug attacks, just take note that it does take wire bugs to do those, those special dodges, and you do have to be very specific by holding the L button and pressing B, and then one of your attack buttons to immediately engage in an attack. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you do have any questions or feel like I left anything out, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in a future one. Thank you so much for watching.